probably zero degrees out. I think it's just one of those things where we find perfect snow, and I'm talking perfect snow. This powder is exactly what you want when you're off-roading. We're trying to find deep powder. It hasn't been snowing long enough to really find deep. We're not high enough elevation, but the wind is relentless. I want to put some max tracks down. You're buried up underneath in the front. You need to get okay. Now you're hitting you're hitting the ice on the concrete. Yeah. Hold on, Nate. Let me know when you're ready, Liam. Uh, Ollie. Okay, go ahead. Hold on, go back a little bit. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, you've, you're good on this side. You go on both sides. Turn your wheel a little bit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck! Hey, go forward and hold it. Get right there, stop, stop. Okay, go ahead. Come. Come back. Rocket. There we go. Woo. Need a shovel. We got a, there's two max tracks under here somewhere. <laughs> There you go. Barbecue weather. That's great. Area style weather. <laughs> Barbecue weather. Yeah. Good times. Chrissy's poor Chrissy's up to her knees in snow. <laughs> but uh yeah, we got got unstuck. Now go back and find some more places to have fun. I think we're gonna have a fire and go shoot some guns. We're trying to find a pocket where we can do some decent filming in, maybe pull the guns out, do some shooting, just try to get some neat scenes, but this wind will not give up. This area is not far from our vacation house and I've explored it for many, many years. I grew up in this area, but I can't find a spot for us to save our lives. Everything is either covered in snow, so I can't see the normal trails that I take. They're not marked on the map. I'm starting to get screwed. And there's a couple spots where it gets really deep and the tick one has a little bit of trouble in some spots, but makes it through like a champ. And it's not every day you see some snow twisters. After kind of giving up looking for a spot, we find a turnout. We know there's nobody else up here because our tracks are the fresh ones. 
So we just kind of park in the middle of the road, set up a makeshift camp, and start getting some B-roll for these guys. It's not ideal, but I think it looks great. It's probably something we do anyways, and it gives me an excuse to use my chainsaw, which I don't get to use very often. Yeah, that was a lot of work. So, got like a makeshift camp set up here. We're just gonna go chill out for a while. Uh, we got a fire going and uh, glasses are fogging up. Uh, Christian's going over some safety stuff with the guys from Australia, because we are gonna shoot some guns. They're gonna shoot some real American guns. They don't get this stuff over there. You can only use like hunting stuff. So, remember I got the ARs, some pistols. I got a sight, my personal carry. So I just put a uh, Vortex Viper I think it's Viper, red dot on it. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna chill out for a little bit, have some fun, just relax a little bit. Jeez, man, I feel like a damn pirate. So you don't have this red dot here, to make sure you're on target, all you're supposed to do is do a front side here, so it's supposed to line up flush. Yep. Uh, put your index finger down. Yeah, around the front. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Little trigger therapy never hurt anybody. It's nice to kind of get out and get some therapy in and blow a little bit of steam off. And you know, it's it's cool to be able to allow these guys who don't get to use these type of guns to be able to experience them firsthand and do it in a safe manner. Even Christy got in on the action. That packs a punch. We got to a point where everything was just a little bit too cold for us. We said, you know what? We've got all the shots we need. Let's head into town. And we found ourselves in a whiteout on the south side of the town, but the north side wasn't so bad. So we found the one parking lot in the entire town that didn't have any snow on it and then did a quick little walk around video of the power wagon. That sounds awesome right now, like a sauna or a hot tub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally anything warm. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done off the mountain. Oh, check it out. Ducks. The only good ones. Uh, so we're, we just got done doing a walk around here for the finalization of the Ryan Rack video that we're doing with him. It's kind of more of like a film style. Um, and then they are going to make commercials out of it too, I suppose. Uh, the new RTT that's on here, which is it's pretty sick. Can't wait to actually use it and do some more other other things. This is the prototype version that, or the first of it for marketing purposes. And then, yeah, so we had some fun in the snow. Uh, Christian went back to the hotel room. We're going to go join him in a second. Just getting some last minute stuff. And then who knows? I don't know what we're going to do tonight or what we're going to do in the next day or two. It's uh, weather's kind of screwed us, but I think that... Uh, we may jet out of here. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out tonight and kind of go from there. I know what we're going to do. We're going to go bowling, though. Bowling's awesome. Can I just uh, unwind a little bit? Go go get loose. Have some fun. Your hoodie. So we'll take you along with us. Don't worry. So I think I'm going to be uh, taking off a little bit early. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before. Probably did. But my... Um, 
my daughter has an art show tomorrow at like 345 in the Bay Area that I would like to go to. Um, it's her first one. So the weather is, I, I mean, I don't mind it. I think it's beautiful out and it's snowing a lot. The only problem is, is it's really cold. It's one degree out right now. Um, and it's just gonna get colder as it gets darker. So I'm hoping to make it down to weed before it uh, is too dark. But I've heard that uh, I've heard that it's not so bad after weed. So as long as I can make it to like like Lake Shasta, I think I can probably make it all the way home. So it's about a without snow is about a seven and a half hour drive. If you're you know kind of just cruising along, if you haul last, you can kind of make it earlier or sooner. But yeah, gonna call it a trip. Um, it's not quite over. We weren't able to get all the shots that we need to hear for Rhino Rex, so we're gonna have to go uh, do it up in, in uh, or do it down in California, because they want some shots with the new rooftop tents that are not, that don't have snow in it. So Oregon is covered in snow. I heard it was even snowing on the Oregon coast today in certain places, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes down there. I know they're gonna fly down Monday. I think Wednesday we're gonna shoot um, Nate and myself with the new tents on I just got to find a place so uh, lot, long night of driving it's probably gonna be about 10 hours I would assume with this weather they're not plowing the roads or doing anything Bend youth city of Bend and the state of Oregon this is so beyond unacceptable on so many levels you are putting so many people at risk you are screwing businesses over Every, I, I'm right here in a huge shopping center. Half of them are closed because they can't get their employees here. There's no shoppers. I mean, it's, I understand during a winter storm or something, this is not, this is not a storm. It's just snowing. And you know, yes, it is cold, but I've lived here for long enough to know that the city operated just fine in worse conditions. 2002 being one of those, it snowed, I think eight feet in a week. And, uh, this is, uh, you know, business went on as usual there. Schools were open. This is, this is sad, frankly. And it, it makes me super pissed off that shitty politicians, once again, doing dumb stuff, being careless with money, not using taxes right. And sorry to turn this political, but it's, I'm kind of passionate about this place because it's my hometown. And it just keeps getting worse. So maybe I need to new, find a new hometown. All right, we'll see you guys a little bit. I'm going to, we're at REI, the... The Renorek crew wanted to go in and get some like bend paraphernalia, <laughs> aka souvenirs. So they're gonna go do that. Uh, I'm gonna pick them up. We're gonna go back yeah, to the hotel and load up. And there's Nate. So we'll see you a little bit. Well, it's uh, about 5:15 in the morning. It's probably zero degrees out. Got down to uh, negative seven or eight last night. But we're headed home. Christian and I. Nate has to stay and do some shit. Um, man, we really know how to pick the weekends and her weeks and weather time in Oregon lately But we just got done scraping ice and Trying to thaw the rigs out a little bit and packing up and Nate unfortunately has to stay and He's breaking down his whole roof rack because we're putting the new one on here in the parking lot today Where he is with uh, the rhino rack crew We've got to get a head start. I was supposed to be home last night, but all the roads were shut down. So um, Christian and I are gonna beat cheeks out of here and Try to make it home. <laughs> it's cold. I don't belong here. <laughs> fucking Nate like scrapes his whole car, gets all the snow off, and then goes brings it inside. The guy fucking confiscates it basically, so I couldn't use it. I, I got most of the snow off here as I could. This was coming down here. Feel like I fucking take it out real quick. Uh, just make sure I got it on the passenger side, but on the driver's side, I would scrape it before he opened the door. But it looks like he already did open the door. The morning drive was beautiful. It's been a long time since I've seen Central Oregon this pretty with this much snow on it, and I've never seen it without the roads being managed, having cinder on them, and you can see the devastation that it caused. I only got a single shot of a semi-wrecked. There was many of them. For the most part, the roads weren't that bad at all. Except one little spot where the fog was pretty bad, it got icy, I got sideways a couple times. Enough just to kind of wake you up, you know? It's like that extra shot in your coffee.
stop in and get the last little bit of gas before we get to California. Just because the uh, it's literally a dollar something cheaper here per gallon. But yeah, so uh, we're getting it and then we're making really good time. We've only had like one stretch of road that's been bad at all. It was goddamn ice rink. Like we were sideways on everything. But otherwise, it's great. It's 37 degrees out, so it's pretty getting warm up. Everything's thawing out. The roads are clear. I mean, semi trucks are doing probably 60 plus here. So we'll uh, hopefully get to weed here, stop, get something to eat, and then that should be, hopefully be our last stop. I think I can make it damn near home on this tank of gas. So we'll see. Yep, time to get back in the old rig. Beautiful though, holy hell, it's beautiful. It's pretty wild now. <clears throat> God, I can't even talk. It's pretty wild now, it's raining out. It's 37 degrees, so it's gotten warm. And I imagine we're gonna get ready to go up into this little pass here that takes us down to the California border, a little town called Doris. And uh, I'm gonna imagine it's probably gonna start snowing because I bet it gets a little bit colder up and over this end of the next valley. But maybe it doesn't, it just keeps raining. But man, the weather has been crazy on this trip. So we stopped for a quick second to do a little photo sesh of Christian's rig. So we're uh, doing some guy camper stuff and it was a pretty cool train came by right when we were doing it. Look at that. Look at that little bastard. Anyways, uh, last bit of snow. It's still raining, but uh, cool backdrop. So we keep on trucking right outside of weed by about 10 minutes. Still is pretty out though. The snow sucks though, it's wet. A little, a little awkward getting in here. The long eight hour drive over, in two days, we meet the Australian crew back here again in the Bay Area and it's time to find some dry land. up at a place that we've been to before you guys will probably recognize some of the spots uh these guys like i said before needed some more footage without snow and this is the closest to us that i knew about that was going to be decent unfortunately it is off and on rain wasn't supposed to rain at all today and it's windy so we got to find some pockets of uh you know places that aren't so windy for them and uh right now we're waiting for them to set up to get b-roll for our action shots of driving up so you know more boring stuff on my side of things, awesome on theirs. They're creating some really cool content. Pretty stoked to see this all come out. I don't know if the snow stuff is gonna come out until next winter or if they're actually gonna launch it in the spring, but this stuff I think is coming out right away. So uh, the focus on this one is the tents mainly, uh, camping scenes with the tents, and then we put the new P6, or Pioneer 6, uh, so it's the Gen 6 version of the, the Pioneer uh, on Nate's car. He's got a smaller one than he used to have We'll end up replacing it with a little bit longer of one, but um, we stole this one off the of Subaru to, just to make it work. But yep, they're almost set, and then we're gonna cruise up. It's really neat on top here. Uh, it'll be neat to see it, how it looks all with the, the lake in the background and, and like our little faux camp. Stand ready by new one, eh? So we ran into our first problem. The roads are too slick to make it up the hill, which sucks. Uh, the steep hill is too much of an incline and this red clay, this red clay is like an ice skating rink. So there's no sense of trying to screw each, you know, screw our rigs up or getting a, in a spot where it's kind of dangerous. Uh, just, you know, for a photo shoot, we have some, and it's windy up here. So we're going to drop down below. Uh, we're getting some shots. Going yeah, ready right when you are. We'll go one car at a time again. Okay. So I got to go, but, uh, yeah, we're going to run it. Uh, we're going to run down to where it's less windy. Yeah. 
interesting. I'm just taking video. It's fine. And in uh, true idiot fashion, I've always got to do dumb shit. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Saw a hill. Oh well. Just got to make sure that there's enough room for people to get by. Just being courteous. Well, we finally found a spot. We actually went back to the first spot that we were at because we were running out of daylight and most places are closed because, you know, California, let's just close everything in the winter. Even when they're perfectly accessible. Our tax dollars are to work. But anyways, we're uh, doing a little camp scene here. It's just off the side of the road, but you know, it works, you know, for situations like this, for marketing and stuff, you don't have to have like the perfect spot. Obviously we'd have liked to have been at the top of this. I know it's more windy and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, it's just, you know, time thing. We only about, about an hour or so left of good light. So we're gonna we'll figure it out, make it look good. They're professionals. It was an absolute blast meeting these guys from Australia. They're top notch, their content is high quality, and we can't wait to see what they come up with next. We hope you guys enjoyed this series and we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.